Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number four of my Subnautica Season 4 Hardcore Mode Let's Play series. So, I record normally these two, two in a row just in case I start to feel sick, but I have figured out why I was feeling so crappy the last week and a half or two weeks, so hopefully I won't have to do that anymore. Um, I also went and made some water off camera just so you guys and girls didn't have to sit through it and watch me just make bleach and water. Um, but we do need to find something to eat really quickly. And then the idea is to get some... That intimidates me every time. Is to get... What do you call it? Is to get the mobile vehicle bay. We're going to get that unlocked. We also got to make a rebreather so it makes it easier for us to get the mobile vehicle bay. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Okay, there we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. So, we got all this. What I should do also is I should remember to go through all these so I don't have them constantly showing up in my log. Because I always forget to do it, and it gets annoying to see them all here, especially the data bank ones. So we can get rid of all the little markers. So when we get something new and we want to read it, we know exactly where to find it. Alright, there we go. Beautiful photo gallery, da da da. Okay. So, let's go try and find this mobile vehicle bay. Um, I'm a little bit unsure of where to find it. Okay, so, swim around for a little bit. Now, we've got a wreck here. Hopefully, we've got some mobile vehicle bay fragments. We're obviously right next to that thermal vent, so it's going to be loud as shit. Alright. I'm not seeing... Okay, I think that's one. No, that's just a chair. We've got a swivel chair. Sorry, that's so loud. That thermal vent is always crazy loud. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be mobile vehicle... I was hoping there'd be some mobile vehicle bay components here, but I'm not seeing any. Okay. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing shit. Oh, we got another. Oh, got another sea glide fragment. I mean, that's good for the titanium, but this is not what I'm looking for here. So loud. So we came to this wreck and all we found was a stupid swivel chair. Uh, but we did find, we do have another life pod here. Uh, this is normally the life pod that used to spawn the radiation suit. Which was three. Did we already get this? Oh, okay. Apparently we never got the compass. There you go. Lucky we came back here, right? I'm sure someone's going to tell me in the comments section that I'm an idiot and didn't grab the compass. But that's okay. Sometimes I don't think. And shit like that happens. That's just how it is. Okay. I'm very disappointed there was not really anything at that wreck. I was kind of banking on that to at least have one or two mobile vehicle fragments, but it just had none. None at all. Which is somewhat annoying. Okay, so now we're at a different wreck. Again. Just trying to look around and see what we can find. Um, looks like we've got a nuclear waste disposal bin, which we didn't even get last season at all, weirdly enough. I guess I didn't look around the safe shallows very much. I kind of just got in a jelly shroom cave as quick as possible and then kind of just left everything there. I don't think we're going to find mobile vehicle bay parts here, but maybe... We'll find a couple things. It looks like we've already found the trash cans. Both of them. Both types. Fluid, a fluid analyzer, which is non-functional. Vending machine. That is good. 
That will give us food without really costing us anything but the things to build it. So if we're in a desperate situation for food, we will have something to use to eat that will keep us alive. That's always good. I recommend even something as simple as putting that inside your Cyclops or something would probably be a good idea. I've never done it, but I think that could be a cool idea. So it doesn't seem to be anything here. I believe there's another wreck slightly closer to the Aurora, so this general direction, I believe. Shouldn't be too close though, we should be more or less okay over here. Um, we've got Sammy, who hangs around back there, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking. Okay, because we're pretty damn close. We should be more or less okay. Fuck me. The bubbles even scared me. Like I said, we got one life, one opportunity. If we fuck it up, we're dead. And we're gonna have to have this save deleted and start all over again. Doing this same stuff. And I'd really prefer that not to be a thing. The sea glide fragments are unreal though. But it's like there's no fragments spawning of anything but really concerns me. There's an office chair. Isn't what I want, though. What the fuck? Where is everything? Like, these are, these are wrecks that would be consistently spawning this type of stuff, and I'm just not seeing it. Like, they should be spawning these, these items, and they're just not, in my opinion. Whoa, God. Don't crash on me, you bitch. Do not crash on me. Is there a way inside this particular wreck? It looks like there is. But it looks like I'm gonna need a laser cutter to get in. Maybe. No. Maybe it's as simple as repairing these, and we can break into here. Good stuff, that'll keep us safe, somewhat. Although, you know, Reapers can clip through walls and stuff because they're, they're fair. Alright, so... What was the point of getting in here? It looks like if you can move stuff, if you have like a propulsion cannon, you can get stuff out of here. For me though, it looks like just sea glide fragments again. With nothing else in here. Just kind of annoying. Because we're so close to getting our Seamoth made and we just need one particular item and we just cannot get it. No matter what we do. Which is very frustrating to me. But I thought there would be more to that. But unless you need a propulsion or a repulsion cannon to move that stuff to get in there, I'm all out of ideas on what I can do. Hmm. Crapo. Okay, so we're going to have one more look in this. Okay, there's a thing through here. Just got to watch our oxygen. Okay, so now we're in this room. Is there anything in here? Oh, sweet. There's one. We've got one of three. That is not enough, but it's a good start. Okay. One of three. Oh, man. Well, now I'm going to have to try and look for another wreck because one of three is not three. So we still got to find more. This is somewhat frustrating. This looks like I haven't even... Alright. That could have been bad. Let's quickly get up. Seems to be another wreck right here anyway. Which is convenient. Maybe it's got stuff we need. Not them. Blow oh, up. Uh. Bloody prick. Oh my god. How full am I on titanium? Fuck me. All just from sea glide fragments. Are you done? Is there any more here that are going to try and fuck me? We got a coffee machine. That's always nice. 
Another sea glide fragment. Again, always nice, but just not, not what we need. Is that it? I mean, I guess I'll take the, the, the cave, whatever the fuck they want to call it now. I know, 30 seconds. 30 there it is. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. I'm just not finding what I'm looking for. Hmm. And like, I know there's there's plenty of wrecks around this area, but these are wrecks that are consistently giving me the mobile vehicle bay fragments I've needed in the past, and they just don't seem to be spawning more than one, apparently, in any given area. Like, we've checked, what, four wrecks or something this episode, and we've gotten one vehicle bay part out of it when there should have been probably two or three in those four wrecks. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, it's getting on dark again. I don't know... I don't remember any other wrecks in the area either that could potentially have them. Like, I'm not... 30 seconds. It's not in my brain at the moment. I mean, I guess what we could do is we could quickly get some sand... Like, some sandstone... Um... Clusters, so we can get the silver... To get a rebreather, at least. Before this episode's out, because we might need it the way we're going. Because we can't find any uh, any mobile vehicle bay parts, so we might need to rely on using the sea the sea glide more than I wanted to. Is this one we've already looked at? I believe we have, right? Yeah, this gave us a lab counter and stuff. I'm pretty sure we've already checked all this out. Wasn't anything of use to us there. Can we find any sandstone outcroppings quickly? Just to get us the silver we need? Maybe? I mean, we're running low on sea glide juice as well. Isn't great when we're walking around stalker territory because they could come up and munch on our ass. I mean, we've got med kits to save us if we need to. Fuck. Dodge around that. Duck and weave. Oh, we've got copper, that's good. Because we're going to need it to make another battery in a minute. Alright, we're full on inventory space. Fuck, dude. That was a very not successful day. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad. Uh, how many of... I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six-seater, and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this. Our pilot last attempt at a planet landing in the Academy simulator. Oh, it's a bad situation. But so are all the alternatives. All right. Well... Couldn't get it done this episode, guys and girls. I apologize for that. I really thought we would get the mobile vehicle bay at least built at this point. But anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Check out all my social media links below and follow me on all of them to be updated on what's happening on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.